Hi, I'm Philip. Let's look at how to dial in the filament feeder spring tension. The filament feeder has a bearing on one side pushed by a spring against the filament and thusly pressing it into the teeth of the drive gear on the other side. This way, when drive gear rotates, its teeth dig into the filament and effectively push it down into the shallow depths of the hot end. It should come as a no surprise that having the feeder spring properly tensioned is a must. In general, the pressure on the filament needs to be just right. Not too much, not too little. Too little tension will lead to under extrusion and uneven extrusion, while too great a tension can introduce too much friction, which would also lead to uneven extrusion and more wear and tear in general. The spring in the Jellybox feeder is selected in such a way that for common rigid filaments like PLA, ABS, PETG, you want to get it as tight as you can. So first lock the feeder with some filament and tighten the spring fully. You notice the feeder is impossible to release now. To fix that, loosen the tension until you are able to release the arm again. It should look like this. For flexible filaments like NinjaFlex, TPU, you should experiment with tension. Less is usually more with flexibles. Start with little pressure and only increase as needed. You want to encourage the rubber into the hot end rather than push it forcibly. You know what happens when you try to push a rubbery string. And that's it. Keep calm and print on.